Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another shape video. Uh, in this video, I have something interesting to share. A uh, wet shaving friend of mine just uh, loaned me his Wolfman WR2 Titanium uh, 1.65 gap in solid burst settings, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, um, Wolfman Wolfman 1.55 WR2 in the stainless steel version is uh, one of my favorite, probably my favorite uh, ultra aggressive razor. So I'm, I'm I'm really curious to see how the titanium version feels and the 1.65 version feels. It's a ridiculous cap. I don't <laughs> really uh, go around and uh, recommend using it or buying it, but it is just something. You know, as a hobbyist, I wanted to try. <sighs> so, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. I have never used it. I just got it in the mail. So, I'm really excited to try it and share with you guys. The soap today is uh, Mike's Orange Black Pepper and Cedarwood. Uh, I have become a one soap guy as of now means that I use one soap, finish it, and then move on to another soap uh, from my collection. I don't really rotate or change soaps from shave to shave anymore. There is no particular reason. I just don't have the level of interest I had back in the day when I was buying soaps left and right. So that's it. I have a few days worth of growth, I'm not sure exactly how many days. Should be enough. So yeah, this is the razor in a Darwin handle. Uh, it weighs 51.04 grams, so 51 grams. Extremely light, but uh, really comfortable. I always liked the shape of Darwin handle. I had one before, which I now sold. Uh, but yeah, it has a fresh feather blade in it. I also uh, took out my 1.55 WR2, you know, just to compare these two, see how they match against each other. Because <coughs> this is a really like prohibitively ex uh, expensive razor. It's like 600 bucks or something like that, or even more than that. I'm not sure exactly how much. And, you know, deep in the back of my head, I'm thinking about getting one. But I'm not really sure so I really uh, I want to make sure that it is unique enough especially compared to this what I already own um, before you know spending that kind of money anyway let's see
meant this as well. Hell of a smooth razor. I'll do a few strokes with my <coughs> W2 stainless steel. This one is, uh, let me actually weigh it. It's under 100 grams, but I'm, I forgot how much it is. Uh, it is 87 grams, this one, and that one is 51 grams. I thought the titanium version would be a little bit louder, but seems same to me. It doesn't feel, uh, you know, uh, like dangerously ag aggressive. And it's such a smooth experience. And while shaving uh, this multiple raised growth, I, I watched a YouTube video of someone uh, uh, some other day, and that guy was mentioning that if you have multiple days of growth, uh, it might tugging or pulling is natural. Uh, respectfully, that's bullshit. Because from a, a blade's point of view, it only sees one hair. Or a bunch of hairs. It doesn't matter. Uh, what I'm saying is that the height of the you know your whiskers doesn't matter anyway i'm not uh, feeling any tug and pull even though i had multiple days of growth so based on first pass uh, ah, it's definitely extremely efficient it's definitely um let me just mark this a little bit comfortable but between the two I don't think I can tell a difference, to be honest. This phone is kind of blocking my view, so I am basically shaving by looking at the screen. Anyway, across the green plus. Extremely smooth. This is one of the trouble areas for me. Man, this razor is really smooth. Really, really efficient razor. It's like so much, uh, you know, such a large, wide range of angle that works for it. I wanna, you know, do a few. Maybe that one has a tiny bit more blade feel. I don't know by much, but I know that it's. Uh, more, uh, it's a higher grip razor, so not really a 
you know, honest comparison. This one, uh, I have to admit, this one feels nicer in hand, not because of the material. I, don't, I cannot feel uh, titanium or stainless steel because it's uh, lighter. It's 51 grams, uh, you know, more like a vintage razor, which in my opinion were better designs than modern heavy razors. Man, this is one hell of a smooth razor. Try it on the razor here. Yeah, that's that one probably has a little bit of blade feel. Again, this is a what people call sighted test. Let me try something here. Yeah, to me they're the same in terms of smoothness as well. I won't really call one more smooth than other. Anyway, let me lather up for pass number three. This brush has this weird property that lots of uh, dense leather or underhydrated leather goes into the quote unquote breech of the brush. Breech is a method shaving term. So I kind of have to uh, like add water before every pass because that dense thing is not as slick as it should be. Anyway, this one probably could use a little bit of water, but I just want to try this. Man, this is one hell of a smooth razor. This is another trouble spot for me, so I wanna. This is really, really smooth. This is the stainless steel version, by the way. I have a leather all over me. <laughs> There's no resistance at all.
I I will apply some alum today. I do expect some alum burn because two reasons. I'm using a feather blade. Well, feather blades on their first use always give me some burn. And I'm I'm shaving by looking at a phone screen, which is kind of weird. I've never done this before. So yeah, I got some feedback here. Nothing under the nose. Some here. But yeah, well, this is expected. It's the feather blend on first use, looking at the screen. But man, this is one hell of a smooth razor. And I broke my alarm block. Thankfully, I have a bunch of uh, backup Osmo alarm block. For after shift today, I'll use an unmarked Nivea Deep Comfort Splash. I'm also a single aftershave man, by the way, meaning I use, I finish one bottle, then move on to next. So anyway, back to this razor. Yes, this was an absolute pleasure to use this razor. Um, but since I have this and I, I didn't pay that much for this one, probably, I don't know, total of $250 for this one. Uh, I don't think it's worth it for me, but it's definitely, I would def if, I, if I could keep one, I would definitely keep this because I'm a big fan of vintage razors and this has that, you know, extremely nimble feeling because of the lightweight. Um, in terms of shave, uh, really it's, uh, uh, I want to say this uh, is a this has a little bit more blade feel, but extremely comfortable still. Uh, but um, I, I I don't know. I'm I'm not confident that I'll be able to tell the difference between these two if I were doing a blind test, which this definitely wasn't. I know the blade gap of both of them. Uh, I was expecting this to be a little bit uh, louder, but uh, it isn't really loud. Much louder, probably a few decibels, but uh, not much really. I, I definitely didn't measure. So yeah, this is, I mean, $600, no matter how you want to phrase it, $600 is a lot of money for a razor. So I don't think it's really quote unquote worth it. But uh, if you want to splurge on something, yeah, this might be one of those. It's, it's a unique experience, uh, as in that there are not many um, other ultra aggressive razors that are this smooth. But for me, since I have this and I spent $250 because of the aftermarket handle and the head, um, it's probably not uh, worth it. I might still get it if I'm feeling you know, fancy sometime in future, but I'm extremely happy to use it. And this is a wonderful razor. Uh, if, if you ask me, yes, this is the best uh, ultra aggressive razor I have ever used. But I've mentioned numerous times, you don't need an ultra aggressive razor. It's just if you want to, you know, try a bunch of razors, then this is a beautiful razor, yeah, an absolute pleasure. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, it's definitely more efficient. Um, I think it's definitely more efficient than Blackbird Titanium version. It actually um, probably is a little bit more comfortable as well. Uh, but um, I still have reasons to prefer the Titanium Blackbird, but it's not, Titanium Blackbird is not as, you know, hyper aggressive as this one. That's like still, this is like 10 out of 10 in terms of aggression. Blackbird would be like, I don't know, 8.5, 8 out of 10. It's extremely smooth. I don't know, maybe 7, 8, 9. So yeah, um, thank you um, to the owner of this razor who graciously loaned this me. I am using this with the washer that the owner recommended. So I'm gonna respect his wishes. Yeah, thanks a lot guys. Bye. See you next time.